Each week, Pat Sullivan of Sullivan Hardware gives us some tips to keep our home and gardens looking great. With the cold weather, lots of folks will be heading indoors, but they won't be alone. Pat has some tips for keeping troublesome house guests out. Whoo, it's a little bit chilly this morning. Maybe a bad day for shorts, but you know what? Now what is happening? Everything wants in your house. Mice want in your house. Stink bugs, spiders, everybody. They're not stupid. They want to be warm too. So you know what? The, the answer to a lot of these things is boring and nobody wants to hear it. But you know what? The best thing you can do is caulk. Caulking keeps out stink bugs, keeps out uh, the spiders, the ants, all of that stuff. Here's one of the major things. This is a uh, soffit vent. Soffit vents are supposed to have screens on the back and they should be caulked around the edge. This is a major infiltration anything any penetration in the house things can get in it doesn't make like look at this house right here see the gap you just walk around and you fill those gaps and you just keep filling anything that is a problem any little crack you fill it up and that's going to take care of a lot of the problems now mice some people think oh you know i have mice oh everybody has no you're not supposed to have mice in your house if you have mice in your house you have a defect in the envelope of your building and you need to figure out what it is now it can be it's the same thing it's gaps it doesn't take much for a, a mouse to get in into the crawl space could be a gap around a gas line or water or a water line anything where there's a gap bigger gaps if you would take steel wool, because if you use just some of the caulk or great stuff, everybody wants to use great stuff foam, and that's great, but the mice will eat right through it. So it's a good idea to take a little steel wool, stuff that into the hole around the pipe, whatever that is, and then fill it full of the, uh, of the foam. Now, you may have to get down in the crawl space and really take some time, take two or three hours, and look at everything mice should not be able to get into your house now if they do there's all kinds of traps you can use now there, there's plenty of poison i don't like really using the poison because i don't want to find dead mice now in the garage may be okay but remember animals kids you may may not want to use it people are a little squeamish about mice obviously now the two basic traps right here make a better mouse trap yes they have look at this one so easy it's an easy set just like that, you put the uh, put the peanut butter in beforehand, and then that'll take care of it. It's, but but we still have the good old standbys. This, if you can't stand the look of them, is one that you actually set. The mouse goes in, kind of a guillotine. I don't want to talk too much about it. But then you can actually pitch the whole thing. You never have to see it. This one I don't recommend. I think this is heartless. These are sticky glue traps. And I just, how would you like to be stuck to a big glue board? Ah, uh, you know what? You come upon a live mouse, but if you can't stand any of it, we have this one right here. This is a have a heart. It's a live trap. You set it, the mouse goes in, and then when you take it outside, you have a, you have a live mouse. So what I would recommend, blindfold it, spin it around three times, take it about a mile from the house and get the heck out of there. All right, let's get sealing. We still have time to take care of this before winter.